Hi, my name is Paul from Small Town Movie Critic, and we're working our way through a tutorial on how to use Kit Scenarius to its full uh, capacity. Uh, Kit Scenarius is a wonderful free resource, and uh, in this video, we're going to talk about the research function of Kit Scenarius. Now, research is important uh, for many writers, uh, it helps sort of uh, collate your ideas. Um, I know for myself, if you want to, I have a series going on from initial concept to first draft uh, in order how to write a screenplay. Uh, so Kitsonaris provides a template for you to do this on. So this is great. So we're gonna take a look at this right now. Um, and to access this feature, you just need to, to, when you access the UI, just click the research key and you'll have these different things uh, that, that'll come up. Now I have already started a script and you can watch the previous video where I just talk about the basics on how to use uh, the script function. Um, the, the, the ways to add action, uh, dialogue, characters, and that sort of thing uh, in that previous video. So, so you'll see some, some, some of the research will already be populated because we've already worked on a previous script. Uh, so the first section here is script, and we can see a couple of things that it asks, what's the script name? We named ours a pretty exciting name. We called it Test2. Uh, any header or footer information, seam, scene number prefix, um, scene numbering starting at one. So stuff that's pretty, um, stuff that you really don't need to worry about for the most part. As we click the down arrow though, there's a, a number of different subcategories that we can look at. We can look at a title page and so we can see the name for the script again. Uh, uh, and most of these will all be blank. Um, and so again, we have the script name, which is test two, genre, I'm writing a horror genre, author, me, small town movie critic. Um, any additional information or original script and contacts Hollywood, California. You can put your contact information in there um, in year which you're doing this as well too. So again, you can put whatever genre you want. You don't have to fill this stuff out. Um, it's just, again, some people like a level of completeness um, uh, for their scripts and so they uh, like to do this. Next, you have a log line. So if a, a long line is that summation of your whole movie down to one sentence. And we'll have a video about that uh, probably in the near future about how to create good log lines. Um, and this is a very important key because a lot of times scripts get sold based on their log lines. A synopsis, again, it's basically a paring down of what's going to happen in your script. Um, and so that's what you can do is you can write this the uh, synopsis here and you have the ability to do that. You can change um, they have a whole bunch of different styles of fonts you can use, different sizes, um, and bold italics, underline, um, and then they have different things you can do to change the color as well too. Uh, and then versions, so if you have different versions of the script, you can have a different version. Uh, and then we'll close that. There we go. And the next section we talk about characters. So in my original uh, script, I have talked about a character named Nick. And once you click Nick, you have the character name, your real name, maybe if you have an actor or something along those lines, or um, maybe they're in disguise or something like that. Um, and then you can write the detail about this particular character. You can talk about their physical characteristics or the, you know, their backstory. Um, so this is a wonderful way to flesh out the character. So if you can do this for all different types of characters, and in order to do that, um, it's when you add to your script, you can uh, um, do that as well. Or uh, as I came into the menu, I right clicked and I have add new or find all characters from script. And then, so that'll also populate in this field as well too. So, so again, if you're, uh, so again, since I, writ, I wrote a script uh, and I had a, a character named Nick in there, that's sort of populated already. So again, if you want to add a new character, simply right click uh, at, you have this characters highlighted and just simply right click and you can add a new character. The next, uh, and we'll close the carrot again. So the next uh, carrot we have is locations. We Again, we carrot down. Uh, again, as before, you right click, you highlight and right click, and you can add a new location. And you can find all locations from the script. And again, I, I started off with stormy night and house. And again, you have a description if you want to add more detail. So this is a wonderful type of tool. So if you want to flesh out um, different aspects of your stories. This is wonderful to have right in the script um, so that you can have all those um, details uh, and you can easily uh, change them, edit them, um, give yourself some time to brainstorm, and it's all within the same document so you don't have to click off to different documents. Uh, this really reminds me of Scrivener. Um, 
and it's free. And that's the nice thing. Scrivener, one of the things I really loved about that was the ability to have as much research uh, uh, functions as, po as possible. And finally, documents. This is again where I think uh, Kitchenaris really shines. Um, and so there's a couple different things. You can add a folder. So again, um, uh, as you can see, folders let you group research data in a hierarchy. So you can add a folder to this document again. You can add a text document. So if you have another, let's say you have another Word document or you've been working with somebody else and you and you have a document that you've been sharing next, back and forth, you can add the text document right into your script. Um, and I'm going to save mind map for just a second here. Image gallery. So again, you can add images. So if you have images that you want to add, again, um, you can do this as well too. Um, and then our URLs as well too. You have you can link to to helpful web-based documents as well too. Um, so these are all wonderful things. So again, you're storing all of your research documents in with your script. So as you're writing your script and said, hey, you know, we're going to be talking about this hotel in California, and you have this beautiful picture of this California hotel. You can simply go to the research, click on your image gallery, and then you'll be able to take a look at it and see what it looks like. Uh, mind map. Uh, just to, to press this one as well, too. Um, and we'll do test four. So if we want to make a new mind map. Uh, so what we can do is uh, we can add a new one. We can remove it. We can change the color. So maybe if we don't like yellow, maybe we like white better. Uh, we can we can we can do stuff like that. Um, and so for a mind map is um, you're sort of branching. If you've never used a mind map before, you sort of branch off from that. So if you want to talk about this as a main character, um, you can add little branches and you can talk about, well, maybe there's there's a sword that's in, that has to do with this guy. And then that sword comes from a rock. So, so what you're doing is you're, you're sort of taking ideas and you're sort of um, creating sort of a ripple type of effect um, out of that. And you can change different things from up here. You can change which direction you go out of. You can add a child node. Um, you can add a sibling node, which, you know, uh, so a these, these have been child nodes that we've been adding. So they sort of are coming off the central idea. Um, and the nice thing, you can delete a node. Um, this will scale up the nodes. So you can either, so you can, so you can um, pull way up or way down. And this just changes the background color of the nodes and stuff like that. This adds an edge to the node. So you can sort of see the edge here. This takes away the edge. And then this saves the mind map as an image file. So you can use this as your sort of brainstorming if you want to do different things here. If we add another node, you can do this. Um, this one will bring it off the main idea. So you can add different things here. You know, maybe we're talking about a shield or an animal or something like that. Um, so this is just another brainstorming method to use. And it's really nice. It's already in Kit Cineris. So you can use whatever. Um, and I'm just going to remove that for right now. Um, and you can use that uh, as part of your um, trying to figure out how to, what you want in your screenplay. So this has been a brief introduction on how to use the research function for Kitsonaris. Thank you for joining me on how to learn about the research tool today. This research tool is invaluable. It helps a lot with gathering your thoughts and putting them in one place. And the nice thing about using Kitsonaris research tool again is it's all in one place. So as you're opening your script or working on your script, you don't have to dig for your documents in other parts of your computer. It just makes things so much easier. Uh, well, thank you for joining me for this video, and we'll see you in a later video as we keep exploring Kit Scenarist.